I'm Tony Calamara. This is another episode of Mighty Mac Week in Review. Just like Tony said, welcome back to another episode of Mighty Mac Week in Review. My name is Dave Molinaro. I'm joined as usual by my partner Sarah Pasternak. Another exciting week as the winter season is coming to a close. We have highlights from the Play for K doubleheader. First, we're going to start off with some highlights from the indoor track and field team. They finished up their season last Friday at the Susquehanna Invitational. Let's see how they did. Diana Cusick had the best day for the Mighty Max as she set the new school record in the one mile with a time of 5.30 to play sixth. She also placed 17th in the 800. The 4x800 meter relay team placed 4th, while the 4x200 meter relay team placed 9th. For the men, freshman Michael Wampshire set a new indoor school record in the 400 meter with a time of 54.84 seconds. Alex Felderstein placed 11th in the shot put and Angel Chamal Rodriguez also placed 11th in the 3000 meter. The track and field team will now be shifting their focus to the outdoor season. They have a month to prep before they get underway at Elizabethtown on March 19th. On to the hardwood, the women's basketball team had their senior night on Wednesday as they honored Liz McBride and Riley Larkin prior to the game. Let's see how they did. With time winding down in the first quarter, Larkin drives hard to the right side of the hoop, gets the scoop layup to fall with pressure on her to put the Muddy Max up 10-7 at the end of the first. In the second quarter, after the Falcons miss, Riley Larkin snags this long rebound and turns it into a transition opportunity. She races up the court with the no-look pass to Tamira Laws, who had eight points and a season-high 24 rebounds to give the Muddy Max a 25-17 lead at half. The Max are back at it with their transition play as Laws gets the rebound and outlets it to Larkin, who gives the no-look pass to Gina Kashi for the bucket. The Max put the game out of reach in the third by outscoring the Falcons 20-5. Buddy Max would finish off Cedar Crest as Riley Larkin goes the length of the floor and lays in this layup as she finished with a double-double of 22 points and 11 rebounds. The Max would beat the Falcons 57-37. On Saturday at Summit, Riley Larkin stepped to the line with four seconds left in a tied game, knocked down both free throws to give the Mighty Max a 45-43 win on the road. They have to win their final two games this season and have losses from either Centenary or Cairn to get that final playoff spot. And the men's basketball team hosted Keystone last Wednesday, looking to solidify their spot in the playoffs. Let's see how they did. Midway through the first half, Roy Farrell Jr. gets the ball at the top of the key. He drives straight to the hoop, gets fouled, but gets the layup to go for the three-point play as he scored 22 points on the day. Later, the Mighty Max would take a 38-32 lead into the break with the help of this and one opportunity by Tony Calamara, who gets the hook shot to go. In the second half, the Max would start to pull away as freshman James Willis gets the ball down low. He hits the fadeaway bank shot to put the Max up by 18 points at 54 to 36. Mike Sturdivant Jr. put the exclamation point on the game when he sneaks out full speed coming from the corner with this tip in put back for two of his 11 points and a 77 to 57 Mighty Max victory. The men's team would then take a loss to Gwen and Mercy by a score of 88-79, to but they clinched their seventh straight trip to the CSAC postseason with a loss by Karen. The men's team will be hosting Rosemont on Wednesday for senior night, and then they're heading to Newman on Saturday to close out the regular season. Hashtag Diamond Max. The baseball team is going to be underway this weekend with a doubleheader playing Arcadia on the road in Aston in a Maple Zone turf facility. And that's all we have for this episode. Make sure you tune in next week for some basketball playoff action and for some spring preview interviews. That's all we have. My name's Sarah Pasternak. I'm Dave Malonero. <laughs>